Hey, I've seen a question about making um, lyric videos with open source software. So I wanted to share some ideas I've gathered around from making videos for my music. Um, so the first thing is uh, aligning your work to grid. And what I do is I generate a click track with Audacity. So open Audacity, go to generate and then rhythm track. And here you need to know the tempo of your track. So if it's say 135 beats per minute, then you type it into the tempo. Then you need to specify how long the track needs to be. By default, it has a couple of bars, but if you set the bars to zero, it's gonna take the length into account. So just make sure this is longer than your track. For example, if your song is four minutes, make this four minutes, 30 seconds, just to have a little bit of leeway. And that's it, click OK, and now you have a click track. What this will do is allow you to visually um, see where every bar of your pro of your music starts and have the division into four beats and then again the bar starts. We can also normalize this to make sure it's as loud as possible because we're gonna see this waveform in our video editing program and that's gonna make it easier. I'm gonna save this file so export selected audio and uh, let's just do it here click and I'm going to export to FLAC. Um, 16-bit FLAC. And it's going to be click 125 BPM, I believe. What was it? Doesn't really matter. I'm not really making a, a real track right now. Okay, we've got the click track. Now open Olive Video Editor. I'm going to make a new sequence. Uh, this is version 0.12 and let's say you're editing at 60 frames per second full hd okay now we need to import the click track so i'm gonna open it up and here it is open now i'm gonna drag it into the sequence and you can see i immediately have my click track in here and i can hear uh, let me see if you can hear it too uh no I can hear the click track right now. You, I don't want to do it, so I'm gonna select it and hold Shift and press E key on the keyboard, which is a hot shortcut to enable disable, which will make this still visible and still providing a visual aid for us to sync things to, uh, but will make it uh, so that we don't we don't hear the click. Now, if you want to make a lyric video, say you have some I don't know some animated content, something is going on, you have some animations, uh, that's our animation for, for here, and you want to add the lyrics. You can, let me move this, you can go with the add title, create a title strip, and now, the thing that Olive does is creates this rich text box, which I don't really like because it's hard to edit and it's a little buggy, so I'm going to delete that, and instead I'm going to add, click here, render, text. So we have rich text, I don't want to use that, I want text. Here we can type our, our lyrics. Re first verse first line. All right. Now, uh, we can change the font. I'm gonna use Open Sans Condensed, which is a nice font, we can make it bigger. Uh, let me track this a bit so you can we can see our video bigger uh, up. and now there's two ways you can approach this you can either copy and paste this strip if you hold if you select it and you hold shift sorry hold alt and drag and drop you're gonna copy it but there's even a better way you can simply make it longer and now we can we can make it longer longer uh, let's make these bars longer too and now say our first line of the song starts in this beat. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on this time on this clock button to start inserting keyframes. You can also close these two panes because we're not using it. So go window, graph editor, let's hide that and window, media viewer and hide this too. 
Now we have a bit more, more space in here. So we see we have a keyframe. And now, if I scroll to the beginning, I can insert a new keyframe by clicking on this keyframe button here. Now I can change the text. Let's remove all the text. And I, as, I straw, as I scroll or scrub for the timeline, you can see that the text appears right here. Because this keyframe changes the, the, this, the text. So what you can do with this is you can have a single... Uh, now we can insert another keyframe and delete the text. Uh, and say here is another line. So um, second line of the first verse. Right? And now first verse, second line, second verse, second verse. So we can have all your lyrics in a single strip. Why does it, is that useful? Because you can easily change the font, change the placement of the text, um, and also add effects like, you know, you can add a render solid, then right click, move it above the text. So it renders solid red. I'm gonna make it black, turn down the opacity. Now I'm going to add another effect, distort, crop, also, move it above the text, but uh, below the solid. And now we can chop off this, the top of that. can also use feather to make that a bit uh, less visible. And we have like a background for our text. Now, you may want to do some more advanced animations and then using multiples, um, multiple strips is going to make it easier because if you... Let me see, where is our text? Okay, here's our text. Let's uh, delete the keyframes. I'm gonna leave this like first, text, text, test, blah. Great. And now we can edit and make some complex animations. For example, I want to edit, animate the opacity. So I'm gonna drag it to zero. I'm gonna insert, enable keyframes for this. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna time it with the beats. So let's say two beats and then the opacity goes to 100. Then, okay, can you see it? Now let's say we want to start fading out here. So I'm going to insert a keyframe. Scroll here, insert another keyframe. You see we had four keyframes. And this makes it fade in and fade out. And you can see it fades in and fades out with the background because they are both on the same strip. We could also... You know, do things like uh, animate a blur. So let's go add a gosh, Gaussian blur. Uh, let's turn the sigma to zero. And uh, we can scroll up and navigate between the keyframes. So I can move here and insert a keyframe for the blur. Oh, here it is. Insert a keyframe here. Jump to this keyframe, insert a keyframe here. Now I can scroll here and increase our blur. Inserting a keyframe. Now I get to go to the bat to the end and increase it again. And now we have a blur fade effect. And you can do a lot of different things in Olive very easily, adding different effects, adding animations. You can, like, you know, add a crop. Sorry, add a. If you install community effects, you can add, like, a glitch effect <laughs> and have the text be like that. Or you can have it be like, um, this effect can also be like, you know, fading in and out. <laughs> so it's like fading out here, then it's going to start again here and fade out there. So you can see we can very easily make pretty complex things. And the great thing about that is if we just copy, <laughs> so hold alt, drag and drop, we can simply change the text here. And the effects and animations are going to be stay the same, so they're going to apply to that. And the really great thing is that if you select both of these, so you just click and drag, we can actually change them again at the same time. We can change this font size and location and for example the cropping of this of this black background 
and both of them have changed because they have both been selected and Olive identifies that both of these strips have the same effects on them and changes all the parameters. You can see we have multiple in the parentheses. That means we're affecting multiple uh, multiple instances of this effect on multiple strips. So this way you can make your uh, your lyrics and you can animate them easily. Uh, yeah, and you can sync them to beat. So that is my short tutorial about making lyric videos and music videos in general. Very simple, very basic, nothing fancy. Um, yeah, hope you found that useful. Take care and I'll see you in a different video. Bye.